Sagittarius, welcome to your check-in reading. Please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And also do check every couple of days as readings for your signs. So for elementals, the weekly astrology is very good as well because it tells you about the themes every day and how you may be feeling. Um, but also the elemental reading part of it is very much channel based and around healing or spiritual growth coaching and mentorship mentor, mentoring so there's a lot of energy put into those readings um i might not continue them if um if they don't get much seen into but they're very useful for guidance um it's, it's like spiritual coaching for your elements. So they're really good. So basically every couple of days there's readings for you. And of course there's shorts. So if this resonated or any reading that you see resonated, I would be grateful for you to like so that it helps the algorithm of the channel. It get out to a Sagittarius that needs to hear it. And subscribe if you feel that what I do resonates for you. I'd appreciate it. It's so like a little give back. But do also comment and let me know what you take away from the readings. Um, so I feel like there's something else I need to say. And if there is, I will do. But let's get into your reading. If you've not seen your March reading, do check it because obviously it covers the whole of the, mar the March. So, so some things might have not made sense when you read it. But now we're in, you know, sort of mid-March. It's then the 11th. I was, it's weird. I feel timelines are different. I feel it's like the 20th. Knight of Swords. So, you know, what communication are you trying to deliver that maybe you've not well planned or strategized at this moment of time? Or is it someone coming towards you? Eight of Swords. Maybe you're actually bogged down with, you know, feeling burdened about needing to always fight your communication or fight your corner very much so look at this the ten of wands in your current energy so something is actually leaving you you know feeling that maybe drained of your energy that's what i'm really feeling here um one second because if i just all tied up it really goes with it. I was just getting called to, you know, pull a card. Um, so change is needed. I feel like there's some self-imposed barriers here. There is definitely burdens. And I feel like you're always feeling like you need to fight your corner and you're a bit all tied up. And um, maybe it's energy draining. Um, let's see how this new current energy is going to move. Sagittarius, all Sagittarius places, please. Going forward. Nine of Wands. So resilience is needed and you're needed to continue to stay focused. Stick to what you know. Um, there could be death. There could be, so it is going to come to an end. This energy is going to lighten up. Um, there could be someone been trying to convince you otherwise of what you know and what you should be doing. Um, but you don't see the fun in or, you know, you don't either see the fun in what they're saying or you don't see the alignment in what they're saying. And this might just be advice that's good for you to know. Um, and if it is about advice of taking a decision, I'd say wait it out. Um, there is incoming... There is something incoming for you. Some of you could be looking to relocate, but I do believe this is a blessing. Something's coming in for you. There's definitely new people, new sort of tribe, network, collaboration is coming in for you. Can we clarify the Three of Wands? Page of Cups. It could even be love, okay? And the Moon. You're not seeing it yet, but it is coming through. I also feel some of you, not all of you, are having some uh, dreams that may have meaning to them, but they're not making sense. Um, so some of you may be feeling that way. I lost the astrology. 
the astrology because I like to also align with that. Um, it could be that you're also, you know, following your intuition and leaving a situation behind, you know, um, that no longer serves you at, or it's not aligned with what you're called to do. It could also be people. Um, it could even be a habit for some of you. It could be to do with, with this, this current energy that's bogging you down. It's horrible. I know how it feels. But, um, maybe some of you, there's a lack of vulnerability. I feel like it's keeping you maybe a bit stuck as well. If you're wondering why you're not getting um, sort of, you know, reciprocation or at least uh, from someone that, you know, is dear to you, it's because you you might not be communicating what you want and what you need. Look, your communication might be very sort of, um, it's genuine, but it's not vulnerable. It's kind of like um, on a surface level and you could be very vague. So that's for some of you. Um, you could be in a love situation, even it could be a same-sex situation. Open up and get clear on what you need. Look at this, the sword breaks up uh, clarity and communication. There's a breakthrough here and it could be to do with communication. Um, whatever you need to verbalize. If you're manifesting something or someone into your life, um, aligned action is needed, but there is a breakthrough. So, you know, because I said here, there is your ships are coming in and it could be around your creativity, your love. It, it, you know, when I think of this, although it's not a pentacles, did we get a pentacles? I don't think we did. We'll see if we do, but it could be around, you know, job as well. Um, but there's ideas. Some of you might have felt a bit stagnant in terms of your ideas and focus. That's for some of you. There's also love coming in, but um, I will clarify. I want to clarify these two around the love because the Seven of Cups is good. It means what you've been hoping for is coming, but I wonder how tangible this love is. Look, we've got the Five of Pentacles, which is confirming there has been a bit of financial difficulty. You might have even felt a bit isolated. You might be feeling isolated going forward. Um, I said it in the past, but we are looking at forward motion. There is the Five of Swords here, so there's also been some sort of ego conflict not so much ego i'd say um yeah a bit of ego but conflict disagreement on some things which is probably what's also making you feel quite heavy um when we look at it because i said can we clarify the page of cups and the seven of cups it, i think you need to be don't settle for less than what you deserve with this when, when i look at love don't settle for what you deserve. Look at this. There is motion coming in. Some of you could be traveling, relocating, but there's a change of direction coming in with this. There's a stability. And this person is also, also protected. So I feel like there is um, spirit guides coming in. It could be a cancer if we're talking about love. Um, you're being blessed this month, I think, with a person or people um, who, you know, the Eight of Wands has come up, but I want to continue with what I'm challenging, who is a romantic, sensitive, and open to you emotionally. Um, this is someone who could take you on dates, express themselves. They are um, you know, adventurous, and they do put in the work. This is someone who will put in the work. You'll find yourself communicating openly with this person, this isn't something that you will have to feel overly committed to up front. Um, I would say enjoy this blessing. Look at the seven pentacles. Enjoy this blessing. You might have felt a bit stagnant in your career, in your money. I'm feeling obviously your money and um, in love as well because love is coming up here. You could be dealing with a cancer with this. I feel like I'm missing something with the chariot and I might pull a card like I did at the beginning because there's something on it that I'm missing to read that is talking to me, but because I'm talking really fast and if I take time, a couple of minutes to meditate on it, I will get the answer. But really it's about success, willpower and keep going, keep driving forward because you're going to get there. 
Um, you know, don't be pulled in two different directions. Um, and you're going to get what you deserve. This is coming through for you. Um, it's a triumph. Um, there is forward motion and willpower is still needed. But in terms of the love, it could be a cancer coming in for you. Um, but there is a part, there is people of a divine counterpart coming in for you. Five of Wands, you've had the Five of Swords and you've had the Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. The Five of Wands really talks about um, sort of also, again, you talk, you, you know, you, you're you fighting something and um, and I, the reason I looked it up is because I wonder if it's to do with this that is bogging you down so there is going to be a little bit about it where you're you know you're fighting for your rights and it's bogging you down but also I wonder if you're actually do you need to invest that much time into it um is it worthy let's get a card rest and rejuvenate so I would say that needs balancing out when you feel you can't face that on certain days don't just don't go into it one and nine is um, a number 10. So that's the completion, actually. There's a completion there. And um, I think here also you can ask your angels, this is your confirmation, um, that your prayers and manifestations are being heard. I mean, I just feel like he's just... Um, it's interesting because I did a reading with... Oh, was it Libra? And I got the tree of life and it was sort of like this. I had to stop the reading and meditate on what was coming through for me. Was it Libra or Scorpio? I can't remember. But the, I felt the tree of life had this magical all around it. And it's just come to me again. It was so beautiful when I stopped the reading to meditate what else I was getting through on a card. It was their spirit animal card and it was a raccoon, but it was nothing to do with the tree of life or what I was seeing. Um, but you maybe also feel guided and called to work with your angels in the universe to help you trust at this time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a good reading. And I, and I did, I'm gonna pull one more card for some reason, nine of cups. So you're focusing on yourself will just need to balance with the rest and rejuvenation. I think that's telling you it's fine for you to do some self-care, to focus on you, to focus on what you need for that day, maybe a self-care day. Your affirmation that I wrote is, my life is filled with so much love, which is kind of really what I've been saying. There's love coming in for you and there's breakthrough on your hard work. There's not many pentacles here, but I can see it. there's a breakthrough on your hard work, which means there is pentacle energies. Let's check. Journey. So you're on this sacred journey, um, and it very much symbolizes the a chariot card. But with this, I really feel like she is protected. Like, don't let your worries go. That's what I'm getting with that. Affirmation, my life is filled with so much love. Spirit animal card for oh, Sagittarius, please. Dragon. Very mystic, by the way, and very supernatural. I feel there's superpower here. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Master is your destiny. Rise with dignity. And again, the colours of the pink and the aura around the rest and rejuvenation. Look at them. I hope the camera can really bring the colours out. Can you see? Very similar colours and aura. That's amazing. So let's get you a let's get you a soul card. That's going to be good for you for the, you know, sort of going into mid-April. Um
Am I willing? You are the edge of some you're on the edge of something great, remember I mentioned. Can you feel it? Yes, there's a risk of uncertainty, imperfections ahead. Failure is certain, vulnerability is a requirement. How do you say that? You must be brave and trust yourself. You're more than more than before. You will reach the dream. But you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Be brave, Saji. Follow your heart. It's coming through. Uh, that really spoke to me. Um, yeah, beautiful. So if you like this reading, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Bye for now.